Alright, time for a Mundo game. A Mundo pretty much got revived by Riot for jungle purposes. They gave three buffs to Mundo over the last couple of patches that were big, were very big. And this patch was the final one he needed to actually jungle properly again, I would say. As they upped the damage from his E from 150% to 200%. So that gave him the clear speed he was looking for, pretty much, to uh, be a lot better, you know. And on top of that, that's like the, the one buff here that we're talking about. The other buff I'm talking about is the jungle changes that the more gold for farm junglers. Uh, they their, like their overall power goes up, of course, and Mundo is one of the better farm junglers with his clear speed. And, well, now again with his e-buffs. And then the final buff, and this one you might not expect, but it's the Thornmill changes to the point where you can use the item now. Because previously, you had to have CC to be able to use the healing reduction effect, and Mundo doesn't have any. So, you know, it is not ideal. And that changed, so now he has some, and he can actually use that item, which is a lot of damage, because that thing, like mid to late game uh, uh, fights when, with Mundo, you do so much. Uh, you, or you tank so much damage, they hit you so much that the reflect damage on that can easily do like 3,000, 4,000 damage in, a in, in like a game, even more. Uh, so it's a big item to get, but previously it didn't give the healing reduction effect, so that was really bad, obviously. And that is now no longer the case, so you are actually kind of looking okay with that now. I'm clearing towards top here, by the way, because I uh, want to gank the Camille with no flash. Obviously, the, the blue start, the blue side start on Mundo, if you're gonna solo start, is better. Uh, but yeah, because of this situation with the no flesh and Swain having pretty good gank setup with his like root and stuff, I definitely want to go for this. Uh, the blue one is, I believe, slightly faster clear speed wise as well, but I guess we'll see. Because uh, if you start blue, your full clear is about 306 uh, leashless. Okay, well, I guess that's that. I mean, I can probably get the gank on the return after she teleports back, but... Interesting. Yeah. I mean, player speed on this side looks pretty good as well, to be fair. Definitely not bad. Like a bit of 310-ish. It's a slightly slower, definitely. But still definitely not bad. 310-ish, yeah. I mean, I didn't have to smite there, to be fair, but I'm just gonna smite anyway. Just wanna walk up, use my potion here, and see if we can do something. That should be a death. Thank you. That's a very big TY on my end. Because if he doesn't give that to me, that just I lose a lot of efficiency there. Try to block for him. I should not have done that. That's one turret still too many. Die! Oh, she dodged it. Or one of her spider spiderlings tank, but that's possible as well. That's a very close one there, Elise. Very, very close one. You you got out of that one with your uh, like oh. And yeah, that's a very big kill on the Camille, though. That's a bad situation for him. One auto attack from Swain, and Lilies would have been dead if he did one of those. He ran a little far there, to be fair, but it's okay. Not a problem for me whatsoever. We're just going to do that and recall. Going for this one's very greedy. It's on my HP. If I was full HP, I'd go for it. But on this HP, it's not, because Elise is most likely going to recall out of the situation she was just in. Which then means that, um, well, I mean, I can't really do anything, right? I have 1200 gold, so I'm going to build the Tiamat instead of the... If you don't have the 1200 gold for this, the Giant's Belt's better. Because it gives Mundo AD or AD from his passive on his E. So it's actually good. But because I actually get the AoE effect off this, we're going to build the Tiamat. Uh, I'm rushing Titanic Hydra because uh, Lethal Tempo. Uh, I run Lethal Tempo on Mundo. I think it's his best rune. I see people run Fleet. If you're gonna run fleet, then definitely don't rush Titanic, because it's just worse at that point. You not, don't get the value out of it from the hits. It makes sense, right? At, at that point, it's better to rush Sunfire. But yeah, I don't run fleet on Mundo. I think this is better. It gives you way more fight potential. It's way scarier for an enemy team to deal with like throughout the entire game. So definitely do run this instead of that. But if you are gonna run fleet, definitely don't rush Titanic, because you are not gonna get the value out of it. Simply, simply put. I'm gonna do another rotation here. After that second kill on Camille, I think Top's doomed. Like, I actually think I don't have to worry about it anymore. Should be completely fine. My clear going here. 
Box is top lane, spicy. Are they gonna lane switch? That'd be interesting. I don't think that would benefit. I mean, it might benefit the Camille a bit. You can do this if he wants to. Oh, he backed. Okay. I don't have ult right now, so this is a little scary. You can't CC me though, so there is that, but... Use my Lethal Temple to my advantage, and you're dead. That's what I mean though, like, against Lux, there's nothing to be afraid of, even if I don't have ult, because my passive blocks your biggest skill, and it allows me to dodge your ult for free. Doesn't really matter if Zix gets the kill or not, I don't really care that much. A kill is a kill, you know. I'll give him the 300 gold for the kill, I don't really care. I have enough for the Giants build if I wait a little bit, so that's all I care about. If I can get that on this recall, I'm happy. But yeah, there again, you saw the lethal tempo being extremely valuable, right? Like, just getting those extra hits off way faster killed Lux so quickly. It's just such a good thing to have throughout the entire game. Just gives you such a consistent damage output. I'm a little bit worried about this dragon at this point, though. I definitely think the Elise should be taking that one at the moment. I'm one camp away from six. I'm going to take this red buff to actually hit six, and then I might look for bolt. Okay, Lisa, stop. We're chilling. I'll have another smite for dragon coming up, so I'm just going to use one here, and then we go for bolt lane. Hit the level six. And we move in. All right, good. I am just going to ghost. I'm just going to ghost for this. It's fine. Doesn't hit, doesn't work on me, of course. Need to use that, because otherwise I don't have the speed to catch up, unfortunately. That's... I don't think I would have made it without ult there, speed-wise. It was getting a little dicey there with the turret. I'd rather use it and, uh, like, have it on cooldown than regret not using it, if you know what I mean. Ooh, actually, my bolt lane is kind of low. This should be a little scary, actually. It's just Leona for a while, and I think I can just ignore her. I might die here, but if I can get the dragon out of this deal, I will take it. If I die for this dragon, I don't really care. I mo I probably will. Fair enough. I wasn't worth a big shutdown. If I was worth a thousand gold there, I wouldn't have made that trade, obviously, but... In this situation specifically, I can get that dragon down, and a death there for the dragon is worth it. Especially because Leona is the one that killed me. Yeah, that's even better. If Elise was the one that got my shutdown, it would have been slightly worse. But because the Leona got it, I'm not worried at all. I really don't care. That's completely okay with me. So, nice. That's not bad. Got a free dragon out of that one. Good deal for me. I'm gonna do the wolves, clear my clear these two, and then do the Rift Herald afterwards. Because we want to look for as many objectives as possible. Some cleavers on the big one. Try to consistently use your W as well when clearing. It speeds things up. Switching back once again. Interesting. I can probably look for the gank on top lane in a second. I would imagine she's gonna clear that wave and just go for the top, uh, for the um, control ward there. I would imagine. My ult's gonna be back up soon. I'm kind of waiting that one out. Didn't hit that one. That's pretty bad. gonna be patient. Six is coming up here as well. There's no need to rush things. Guess I'm just gonna hit this guy then. Done. Such bad target focus, I, I guess. It was not very well coordinated on our side. I guess I should have just kept hitting or kept trying for Camille more so. Yeah. It is what it is. Poorly played on our side. Don't lose my passive here. You get hit, bounce hit by the Rift Herald, you, you lose your passive. And if the Elise tries to fight me, I'd rather be able, be able to block her stun. So I don't get absolutely destroyed, if you know what I mean. But I should be able to just take this, because after that, they really can't do anything anymore. I don't know, that last fight is a little awkward. Perhaps I could have played that in a, in, a, in a better way and maybe just actually go for Camille or something. I don't even know. I, that, there definitely must have been a way that I could have played that better. I got my Titanic, so we're going to quickly back for this. It's going to make us much stronger. We just go for the uh, Steel Caps, because, again, Mercs are useless. Or 
I say useless. They can be useful, but they, this team doesn't really have anything to worry about. Like, they all have some CC, but if they all use it on me later in the game anyway, I don't really care. I have some... Uh, actually, I took the uh, alacrity here. You can also decide to take the... Uh, the... Whatever that's called. The tenacity thing. Legend tenacity, if you are really worried about things. But, uh, yeah, not really needed. If they CC you later on, you're a full tank. Like, obviously, it's not going to do much. It's... You're tanking that stuff, you know? We're chilling. Check bot scuttle hill real quick, if we can. Should be... Oh, nope, we're going bot lane. Put the Caitlyn here. Are you serious? Are you? Uh, yeah, sure. I was debating whether I should use it or not, but I think it's fine. Ah, that's probably yeah, it's unnecessary. Just hit this down. We got a couple of plates out of this. Sharing that with my AD carry is not something I'm too worried about, you know? We're kind of, I'm kind of cool with that. Good money income from my ADC. Might be a difference for him, uh, but like, uh, billion, being able to build a mythic here, perhaps. If we're lucky. Lisa's obviously going to be here. She hits that on me, which is no problem. And I'm just going to run him down because I don't really give a shit. Uh, it's a little too risky going for Caitlyn there, so I'm not going to do that. But yeah, with Mundo, one of the big things you have to remember is that you have to use your ult when you get low. If you use it too early, the value of your ult's nothing because this gives you uh, it's, it's better on missing HP. So you need to wait. Oh, you just go in for a fight first. And then when you get you feel like you're getting a little low there. You just quickly pop the ultimate and you are unkillable. A lethal tempo kicks in and then you just smack him down real quick. It's like a mill mid. I have to go mid here. Mm, okay, we're going bolt. I don't really want to recall here because dragon's going to spawn soon and I just feel like bolt lane is a free kill. I will use the plan. I have ghost. I will probably use it. Claims another kill. Um, I would like to get the kills because, especially now these days, previously getting kills on Mundo wasn't amazing, amazing. But this new Mundo skill is like an absolute god. Like it's actually unreal how good Mundo late game is these days. So getting kills on this champ is actually not a big of a deal. It's actually really, really good. Like I would argue honestly that Mundo skills better than some AD carries. Which might, which might sound kind of sad, but it, it is the case. Like it's actually disgusting. Don't really hit the Elise, so red buff. Yep. Chase potential. We killed Elise, so I'm gonna take all of the camps that I can. Obviously, we want to punish. The more camps we can take from the Elise, the better at this point. Check her blue, check her. Uh, yep, there it is. I figured as much. We didn't have it, so. I figured it would be up. Especially since I, like, didn't take my red buff that long ago. Do this, clear all of this stuff. My team's going perhaps a little deep. Gets the kill. Jinx just gets a bunch of resets here, eh? Let's see how that works. If she's gonna keep standing in there, that could be a problem situation. we we'll build for this, because we're slightly low, and we can just ram this guy down anyway. Eh, a little tricky. I, I could consider going more aggressive there. However, Camille is a pretty scary champion. She is not that fed, but her true damage could still mess me up big time. Relay Lisa went AFK. That is a keck W right there. I mean, we have done absolute work, right? Like, just destroyed them. Alright, cool. I'm um, just gonna do... How much gold do I need? 27, 24. I can finish a couple of camps and then get the big buy that I want. So I'll do that. I'll finish this clear here real quick, and then we'll go for that. I might even finish the clear, then do the Rift Herald, and then recall. I know I love all the gold, but at this stage in the game, I'm not too worried about things. At least isn't AFK. I don't know what she's talking about. At least it's just chilling. Or maybe she's complaining because she didn't get ganked or something. I don't know. Do this, and I have enough gold at this point, I think, to be able to back for exactly what I want. Because basically the item build's gonna be a Titanic into Sunfire every single time, and then you go Radiant Virtue. 
The, the reason you go Radiant Virtue is because on jungle, Mundo Heart Steel sucks. Like, you don't get good value out of it. Uh, out of Heart Steel, you get like 500 stacks if you're lucky in like a 30 minute game for the most part, like on average. There are some games where that will be more. Am I not gonna have enough? I don't. Oh my god, I don't have enough. I am trolling. All right, fine. Uh, so it's gonna give you like 500 stacks on it, a little bit of damage. It's not great. However, Radiant, when you proc it, it's going to give you the equivalent of like about a, like Let's say a full build situation, right? You get about a thousand HP out of your Radiant. Just like straight up max HP increase. Plus, on top of that, you're going to heal yourself for a thousand, but also your teammates for a thousand HP, like basically over time. And, you know, that value is way too good. <laughs> like it's much better than the value on the other item, which just doesn't really do anything. Uh, so Radiant is like 10 times better easily. Not even close. Oh, give me that one, thank you. Just start ramming this guy, I guess. He has to flash. Ooh, Caitlyn, good day. Ooh, that's a teleport. Okay, I'll, I'll leave. I'll be respectful. That's cool. Missed. I'll just show you Dr. Mundo things right here. This is absolutely disgusting, of course. It's one down. Two pop them with Ghost right as I killed them, actually. Two down. I'll go for Caitlyn. Once I get a little bit low, that's when you want to start ulting. This guy's dead. Lethal tempo kicks in and we just run him down. There's nothing they can do. And this happens from a pretty early stage. Basically, the Titanic Hydra with Sunfire and you're good. Uh, but yeah, this was a short one. So I'll do another one after this. I'll see you guys in two seconds. Alright. Time for a Mundo game. Now, Mundo basically got revived back into the jungle after what is essentially three big upgrades. One of them not necessarily jungle related, but yeah. Um, first off, they buffed his E. You now, instead of 150%, does 200%. So that's a very good damage increase, which is the final change he really needed to be able to jungle correctly again, I suppose. I don't even know if correctly is the right term, but he can definitely do a good job at it now with a good clear speed again. Uh, because losing, after the changes to Mundo, losing this missing HP scaling thing uh, really hurt your early game and your jungle gear speed. But I now gave that back. And obviously the jungle changes uh, swaying a little bit more towards farming junglers is great as well. So that's really good. And the final one is the Thorn Mill changes are absolutely beautiful for Mundo. Uh, Mundo definitely had a big struggle or big problem with Thorn Mill previously. Because you weren't able to buy it. And it's a very good armor item if you're gonna go super heavy tank due to the reflect damage and also the healing reduction of course so not being able to buy that and get use of the healing reduction because you have no cc was really stupid but that's now fixed so you can actually build it and that makes it way better and uh, all of those changes combined have made mundo like night and day difference it's absolutely beautiful so yeah uh yeah that's the big thing Try to use your E on the small ones to hit them through the camp as much as possible. You cleaver on the big one as much as you can as well. Cleaver does current HP damage, so you want to make sure you hit that uh, as frequently as possible. And don't smite early because you need to use your current HP damage to your advantage. I guess the Hecarim here who's basically going to do nothing against me this entire game. I mean, early game he might be able to kill me perhaps. But once I get like a couple of items, especially because our team is full AD, I will be smooth sailing through that one. The only issue here is the Vayne, because Vayne is just a very disgusting champion to face as Mundo, since he just ruins you on HP stacking, if you know what I mean. But uh, that'll be fine. Also, another thing, I am very close to 50k subscribers, and about 70% of the people who watch my videos aren't even subscribed. So, I mean, if you like my content, uh, consider subscribing. It'd be greatly, been, uh, greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, very close to 50k, you know. But if not, of course, that is completely fine. I hold my E here. It's about a 3-5 full clear, as you see. Definitely, definitely good. A little bit sloppy on my end, though. Could have been much better. That is not good. Our team comp, by the way, is absolutely horrid. Like, the guy first pick, or like last picking first strike Lucian with heal against this is a problem, to say the least. <laughs> Basically. So that's a little scary, but I'm going to pop my potion here. There he's a Hecarim. Be fine winning this one as long as I play slow and safe. There we go, perfect. Lethal tempo coming in. The extra hits you get from lethal tempo is absolutely beautiful. 
And that's uh, Lethal Temple Mate. Dude, what is this? Don't take my camp. What is this? Don't take this, man. I swear to God. Thank you. Jesus Christ. He scared me. He actually scared me. This is a colossal advantage for me, though. Like, Hecarim can't fight me. Especially not with a face rush. Guess we just go for Vayne. Guess we don't go for Vayne. Guess we go for Seraphine. We have no choice. It is what it is. Uh, make sure to slow and then start auto attacking because she's blindly chasing Pike, which is good for me. Good. Perfect. Lethal Tempo again, coming in very, very solid. That's why I run Lethal Tempo, because it's just such a good thing. Mundo gets so much AD from his E thing, especially eventually later in the game. It's just such a good thing to have for damage potential for early 1v1s as well, because the more hits you get off, the better. Fleet is the other rune Mundos use, but man, it just doesn't really do much, honestly. Especially with the build I'll be going for. I mean, you can't go for the build I go for if you go for fleet. Because at that point, the Titanic I'm going to rush is going to be absolutely useless. But if you run lethal tempo, then Titanic rush is insanely good. Let's get some farm clean up here. I'll uh, stall a little bit of time here, potentially. And see if I can maybe poke a shield or something, you know. Bait out some time for the Lucian to get here, potentially. Because he is going to go for this. I don't know what this is, but... <laughs> you know, whatever, I guess. I'm just going to recall. Uh, I'm... Not very... Ah, can I... I should be fine. I want to clear the rest of these topside camps, kind of. That's what I'm looking at right now. Um, so I can just go out of base and do dragons straight away. But this is a little bit scary, actually. No, I'm going to do raptors and le definitely leave it at that. <laughs> I had a feeling that was going to happen at that point. Okay, a little bit too optimistic. Obviously, it doesn't cost me much because I was going to back anyway, but... That's kind of funny, at least, you know. Yeah, whatever. Damn. I think it would have been my level up. That's kind of why I was kind of like trying to do the Raptor still, because having the level up while going into the Dragon here would have been good. And none of these camps would have respawned in time for me to actually get the level up, if that makes sense. So it was a big risk, because I knew I was most likely going to die to it. But it was a big payout as well at the same time because of the level up thing, you know. See if I can walk through, uh, like, up to this bush here. Sivir's gonna push in. Sivir's gonna probably get aggressed on soon. This guy's gonna probably go for a ward, so we go for this guy. No, flash. no ult for me either, so I don't kill him there. But I can do dragon here, it's fine. Yeah, rip me. But it doesn't really cost me anything, so it's no problem, really. Just KDA. I'm just gonna do this. Pretty sure she used her flesh, so that's fine. Uh, with Cleaver, she do tons of damage to this dragon. As you can see, every Cleaver is like 400 HP. When you're on high HP, of course. Because it's current HP, but... Makes clearing stuff like that pretty easy. I'm just gonna do another full clear here. She'll be fine. The spike's going for perma rotations. Uh, Rift Herald's gonna spawn in 40 seconds. I'm gonna clear up towards it, then I'm gonna try to look for it. Uno is one of those champs that does really well into, like, objective control stuff, you know? Because you do it so quickly with cleavers. So it's definitely something to uh, look at, for the most part, if you can. This is a little sketchy, isn't it? Oh, they're, they're not dead, they're alive. They're, it's good. I'll just keep clearing. Still ahead in CS on the... Uh, on my boy Hecarim over here, so that's good as well. What is going on here, man? At least I get the assist on that. I don't get the assist on that one. That sucks. Uh, I really... I should have pressed my ghost faster to at least get those assists. That's pretty big. Or the kills even. That would have been huge. But it's not the biggest deal. Assists would have been lovely. That's a very heavy dive commitment from the enemy bot lane. So what is this? Really? Oh, it was cleared a long time ago. Okay, interesting. I guess that makes it... Oh, wait, of course. I didn't clear it because I died to the camp and I did clear the big one potentially even. I don't even know if I did clear that, but that might mean that would be the reason why. Makes more sense that way, I suppose. Do this. 
can get hit by this, use my passive to get a tiny bit of healing. I don't think my passive is going to be too detrimental here. This guy's no mana, no ult, he just killed top lane. don't think he's going to check. This is just a free rift arrow because my pike's here. And yeah, should be good. Let's do this. Uh, he has no mana here. Pike can definitely set me up for a very solid play. Get my boots at a perfect timing as well. Should have land my cleaver. I'll just walk with him. Obviously, Pike getting the kill is beneficial due to his ult. Uh, so that's that. I'm gonna push this wave in, and we're gonna just go for some turret plates. Wait for this to get a bit low, and then we just split the rest of this gold with Lucian. If Hecarim goes in, that'd, that'd be perfectly fine. Alright, Hecarim, sure, buddy. What? Oh. Okay, well, I guess that sucks for me. It gives Lucian more solo gold in the play thing. That last turret shield actually killed me, really? Oh. That is a rip on my end, isn't it? Massive Titanic buy here, and then we just get Steel Caps. Perfect item against their entire team. Next item, we'll go for Sunfire. Uh, this is a full AD comp I'm facing, so obviously this build path, like, going into Sunfire is, like, yeah, heavy armor type setup. We'd still do it in most cases, unless they're, like, full AP, because at that point, going Sunfire is kind of pointless. It's still good damage, don't get me wrong, but, yeah. Please don't take my Scuttle. Uh, but Sunfire is just good. Like, Sunfire Titanic is super good together. Early on, gives you colossal clear speed. Sunfire gives a lot of damage on Mundo throughout fights as well because of the burn damage, and Mundo stays alive for an extremely long period of time. So that does make things quite beneficial uh, there. And it gives a lot of health, just straight up, like 500 HP, 2700 gold item. Uh, the mythic options, by the way, I'm going to go over this right now. Uh, you see probably a lot of Mundo players go for the hard steal, and... If you're playing Mundo top, that is nice and all, and that's a solid item. But if you're playing Mundo jungle, that thing sucks. Doesn't give you jungle clear speed initially, so you can't really rush it. Because, it, I mean, you have pretty good clear speed, clear speed by yourself. But you don't proc it well. Doesn't really give jungle clear speed. It's just not ideal. If you're going for fleet, then maybe you could do it. I could be okay to do. But if you're going to go for lethal tempo, then it's just straight up better to... Uh, not do it and go for this instead. I have my ult coming up soon. I just kill this guy, I think. What is all of this, man? I'm gonna I'm gonna be fine. Jesus Christ. Why are there three people mid lane? What is that? Yes, thank you for the kill. He's my he's probably yeah, he gets two. He maybe even gets three. Dude. All right, I got two assists on that with Pyco, so I actually eventually got two kills there. I was going to be fine against, like, Seraphine and Yasuo, because you with ult, I could just go in and be no problem. I was going to be fine against those two, um, but... Man, the hack room there was just too much. Take the Bami, and then we go to the Dragon. Mundo is one of those champs, as you saw with the lethal tempo there as well. Like, I just started hammering them down real quick. Like, ult comes in, you just run at them. There's pretty much nothing they can do against you. Um, but, yeah, I mean... I just, like, three people is too much at this stage in the game. If I had my Sunfire completed there, then sure, but I don't, so... Mundo's gonna get stronger and stronger. You're gonna go in, like, 1v5 very, very easily the later the game goes. But up until that point, meh. Bike's doing work, though, I will say. Very good cleanup there for a triple kill, and then also, yeah, just good roaming in general, I would say. Probably a little bit too much, but it's actually working for him this game specifically, so it's not bad, obviously. Right. Dragon clear speed good. Clean that up. For both. If Pike's, Pike gets a setup here. Probably not, but he might. That wave comes in, nothing to do. Slow attack reset to clear this with E. Gonna take the scuttle here. My my jungle camps will be respawning as well, so that's something to look for. Oh, his rat's respawning actually. I can probably assist being the pike to go for this rep buff. I can definitely kill this guy in a 1v1. But the pike will definitely help me out here. This guy is uh, rotating pretty well. That's a clean ass pike engage. Very good, man. This guy's playing well. It's it feels good to have a teammate, man. Sometimes, you know. <laughs> 
Oh my god. I'm getting all the assists, which I don't really care about because most of these assists are actually also Pike ult kills. So I'm just gonna... You know. He gave me the kill as well, not taking it with ult because he didn't have it. This man is playing well, actually playing well. I don't know if I've mentioned the elo of this game, but this is like gold three and this guy is playing much better than that. So I'm actually... He might... I don't know. He might be smurfing, but I don't think so. I think I looked at it and it was pretty average. I can check once again. This guy is a 200 game, 46% win rate in gold two. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't tell that by the way he's playing. I would definitely give him like a flat two-ish, probably. But that's uh, not that. A little too optimistic to go for that. Pike's recalling here as well. I have quite a lot of gold. I don't really want to take a risk fight there. Let's just back. Not a problem. I have 11 out of 18 KP, which is really good. Oh, sorry, 10 out of 18 KP. I can't do math. You missed. Yep. And then here we go for Radiant Virtue. Uh, I'll explain that as well in a second. Uh, but yeah, 10 out of 18 is very solid. Definitely not bad for me at all. Pike's doing a good amount of work, which alleviates some of the gank pressure that I have to, or am able to do slash have to do. So that's kind of nice. Uh, now the mythic item choice, a radiant for jungle mundo is by far the best mythic you can go for. The reason why is because, um, well, obviously, as I mentioned earlier, heart steel is useless, right? Like I say useless, if you get heart steel, you don't get it first item really, not with a lethal tempo build at least. If you go fleet, then maybe you could, but even then Sunfire is kind of better first uh, for clear speed purposes. And because of that, hard steel really doesn't get any stacks because you have no consistent opponent to stack on. You kind of want to farm. Uh, there's not many potential situations to get stacks from. So it's generally better. Because if, if you get that right, like a full game, you would generally look at like, hello? I feel like I just got scammed there a bit. You would look at like 500 stacks on a full game, if that, or like your average game, which is like 500 bonus health. But if you proc Radiant Virtue uh, within the time frame of your ultimate, it's going to give you roughly like... One second here. It's, uh, it appears that my LeBlanc's kind of AFK, sadly. Uh, you get roughly like, depending on, of course, where in the game you're at, but it gives max HP. So you can get like about 800 to 1000 HP out of the item if you pre uh, if you activate it for the 15% max HP. Which, I mean, it doesn't compare, right? Like you have to get like um, about a thousand worth of hard steel stacks, which is never going to happen. Because in most cases, that just doesn't happen. And uh, yeah, that basically means that hard steel is kind of bad. Because you also have to get the proc on it. Whereas if you use Radiant... It's going to give you yourself an additional 1,000 healing in a teamfight, as well as the max HP you're going to gain for about 1,000 max HP. And it's going to give you your teammates also another 1,000 HP when you're healing throughout teamfights. So not only do you heal yourself more, you also heal your teammates more, which is just straight up better. So the mythics simply don't compare. If you have a consistent way of proking hard steel and you can rush it like when you're playing full plane Mundo, it is a good mythic. Very, very good mythic. But you have to have a consistent way of forking it, because without it, it wouldn't be good. And that's why you go ready in Virtue. Because for jungle, you want to either rush Sunfire or Titanic, and Titanic is better with Lethal Tempo, so that's why I rush Titanic. And then that way, you're not really going to get stacks from Hard Steel, and it's just going to be too slow for most games, whereas Radiant won't be, because you can build it whenever you want, and it's going to get full value. So based on that, Radiant's simply better. Finish this dragon's gonna spawn on 17 seconds so we're gonna clear this and then i'm gonna go take grump as well and then do dragon gets me to level up and that will be good and then i can recall after that hopefully i'm getting kind of close 2400 eh, not that close 14 kills on bike jesus christ Make sure to be on top of this objective control as much as you can be, of course. You do them fast, but you gotta do them in the first place. I'm just gonna take the camp. Don't mind me too much. Am I gonna get some assistance, perhaps? That'd be greatly appreciated. Look at this, they can't kill me, man. <laughs> they just can't kill me. It's actually funny. I'm just going to chase this man down. 
What is going on here? I'm not gonna get the assist on this guy now, am I? Well, that kind of sucks. Uh, map awareness is a little bit scuffed there for my team, but I guess it's fine. Take that, clear the wave in one go. Are you kidding me with that? Wow. Lived on one, that's depressing. Didn't reach, wow, that's even more depressing. I'm just gonna use the Herald here. Neither Vayne nor Seraphine can defend this. If I can get this turret quickly with the Herald, it'd be, be kind of nice. I don't have any auto turrets to get. This turret gives me 600 gold if I clear it, so that'd be kind of nice if I could. I'm just gonna clear it. I don't think he beats me here. He might kill me here, maybe, I don't know. We'll pick this up, and then with Ghost, we can use this to run him down and finish him off. Perfectly chilling. 600 gold from that as well. And then pick up all the camps that are up here. Hell no. I'm not giving you that at all, buddy. I'm like, for Mundo as well, red buff is insanely good because of the additional slow uh, potential it gives you. I'm gonna recall here because I have 3600 gold. Pick up the Radiant. I don't need any magic resist against that team, so I'm just gonna go Thorn Mill next because it's actually a good item now. Reflect damage. Can actually use Grievian's wounds. So, beautiful stuff. They're looking very good here. Not the most kills here. Generally, you're able to get kills pretty easily, but obviously with Pike, the things become a little bit different, obviously. So, not a problem there whatsoever. Clear speed now is extremely good as well. You have a lot better scaling these days, so Mundo became je better than he really was most of Season 12 for like purposes. Because your scaling now on your E is much better. Because it's not like just flat value on missing HP, it's actually scaling with max HP. So you're gonna be a better champion um, like mid to late game. Which is beautiful because that allows you to carry much easier. And yeah. We're just gonna do Mundo things at this point. Because right now all I really have to do is just run him down. He gets the kill on Lucian, but that's fine. Good ult, but the the problem like the thing is with ult is you have to remember here is that you don't want to use your ult early whatsoever. Your ult, especially going radiant, you have to use it later on. Right here, I could use ult, I can start healing my team as well. Potentially. Can my team please do something at all? Thank you. Seraphine's dead, good. My my LeBlanc and my Sivir are just walking way too far back. Like, I have way more space for them, but they're just not taking that space whatsoever. Which, eh, I mean, it's gonna happen, but it's not ideal. In this, don't take, this, don't take the inhibitor. Enemy team is respawning very shortly here, plus the inhibitor is not even that good to take, because um, it gives the enemy team free farm, because the wave's gonna perma-shove in, they don't have to walk forward or up anymore, and it's just kind of worse, you know. Probably Baron here, to be honest. I won't have Smite up for this, but I feel like the enemy team can't do anything about, about it either. Ekrum's both side jungle anyway, you know. 280 carries, like surely this is gonna be good enough damage on Baron. You know, Hecarim's both side, he died against Pike, even solo, so it's fine. Take this, and when we recall, we got the Thorn Mill, and then we go for the Dragon. Make sure to keep the control up. And by the time I get my ult back here, I'll have the Radiant back up as well. I've gotten one use out of this so far, and heal myself for another 500, and heal my allies for 681. One use. That's already really good. Yeah. When I proc this right now, it gives me 600 extra HP, so you'd have to look at that as like a 600 extra HP proc on the uh, other item as well, which at this stage in the game, 23 minutes just doesn't happen. You don't have 600 HP procked on that thing unless you rush it first item, and even then, still not, still not great. So you know, level 16 big before it hits uh, that. We're gonna go for the dragon now, or we hit 16 before we go for the dragon here. Don't stand near the dragon because you would lose your passive when it jumps up. I'm gonna solo this. It's fine. Perfect. 
That is a full dragon. Mountain Soul as well, which is basically making me unkillable. Especially because the enemy team is a full AD comp, so that's going to be even more disgusting for them. Obviously, the magic resist item I would build, if that wasn't the case, is just Spirit Visage for the increase in healing. I could technically still get it because of the Leandris being a little bit annoying, but... I don't really think I have to worry about things that much. It's fine. Get a bit low, doesn't really matter. And then we pop this, and we go, and we just focus him down. We can tank everything here. Run him down completely, no problems. Pop the W. Like, this is just Radiant being Radiant here as well. There's nothing they can do, man. Like, look, just look at how there's... Just, it's just impossible. Let's, let's just be real. It is literally impossible. Yep, doesn't get to flip me. Doesn't get to hit me with that either. I don't die. Perfect. <laughs> uh, just being able to run. Like, Vayne is hitting me the entire time. It's only because it's a Vayne that it's kind of annoying. Because Vayne does true damage. But if it wasn't a Vayne, this would have just done no damage to me at all. With the rat and Mundo, we heal for like 100 health a second. Whatever this is. We're chilling. I'm just gonna hit bolt turret while they do that fight. And by the time I ult will be a backup rating, we'll be back up as well. It's about the same cooldown, so that makes things pretty nice and smooth, you know? Yeah, look at this now. An extra 500 and I heal my allies for 1600 HP now. So, super valuable for fights. Like, giving your allies that additional health is so good. I'm just gonna leave. I think it's too optimistic to stick around right now, so I'm not gonna do that. Now again, Spirit Visage would def definitely be an item. You are not serious with this, buddy. He is alone by himself. He's literally by himself right now. There's nothing he can do. He doesn't beat me, ever. Because I have Thornmail now. You can actually legitimately buy this item without feeling terrible about it. I have two people dead. I just... I'm just gonna recall. Um, honestly, this, this is not bad. Like, it's actually not bad, but I think this is better. So I'm just going to go for that. I don't have the gold for it right now. So I'll just buy an elixir of iron because I'm most likely going to be able to buy it regardless. Yeah. See this. Spike has done extremely well. Like, very, very well to help me out. This is definitely not a solo carry, it's just a 2v, 2v8, whatever you can call this. Like, Pike did a great job. Yeah, the rest of my laners are just kind of there, you know? An enemy has been slain. Just go walk over. I'll do the, the final Mundo thing. Okay, well, Pike is just getting things done, I suppose. 20 kills on this guy, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm level 17, like... Four levels out of the Hecarim, more than 100 CS up on the guy as well. I'll do the final Mundo thing here, just to, just to mess with him a little bit. Let's finish this off and I'll just go kill Vayne. Don't really care. Really don't care. I don't, I'm, you don't want to use your ult early either. You see me just hold on to it the entire time. You want to use this when you get low, not any sooner. There's level 18. Okay, so I did 1100, 1600, not too much, not too many team fights to be fair, that can easily stack up. 2400 damage Hydra, 1100 damage Sunfire, 2400 damage from Thornmill, and yeah, that's basically we're chilling. I'll see you guys in the endgame stats. Alright, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing 27.4k damage, which is the most in the game. This will happen quite frequently. You might uh, think that won't be the case, but it definitely will. You do a lot, a lot of damage consistently. So, yeah, highest damage. True damage, 1800. Uh, we have damage to objectives, of course, at 81.1k. That's just control, right? Like, you just need to get those dragons, get the heralds, get the barons, whatever you can, as much as you can. And that's there. Healing for about 39k, very good. We have damage taken for 468 we have, on top of that, self-mitigated at 65.3, so it's like 110k damage taken with the most damage done as well. So we are looking super strong there. Gold earned at 16.7k. And for the runes, uh, not the best opt-time on a lethal tempo this game. They had decent kite potential on me, so that makes it a little bit more tricky. 
uh, triumph for a bit of healing and some gold. We have the, the just the attack speed here because you don't need the tenacity unless you have super heavy on CC, but they weren't. So we just take the uh, attack speed because your passive will generally be fine. Last stand for about, uh, let's say, a thousand damage and then approach velocity for 81 seconds here as well. But yeah, that's it for Mundo. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video.